hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Juliet in today's video I am going to be showing you how I draft a notched collar uh, blazer so starting here with my paper I am marking my shoulder measurement divided by 2 so my shoulder is 18 inches 16 inches so divided by 2 that is 8 so I marked 8 I came down and marked 8 inches again so I have a straight line then I'm marking armhole of 8.5 inches so I'm marking 8 inches in again from the midpoint and then I'm using my ruler to connect the points like so so next I'm going to mark 3 inches in which is the neck width that I am working with and then on this armhole line I will go down by half inch i'm going to connect the two points together in a slant please note that i am drafting the back piece it's important to draft the back piece first so next now i am marking the neck depth for the back which is one inch the back neckline three inches wide one inch deep so using my ruler again i am connecting the points together after which i will give it a curve So next I'm extending the armhole line as you can see. Then I'm going to measure to get the midpoint and then go in by half inch. I'm going to connect that midpoint back to the shoulder line and then using my armhole curve I will curve the rest of my armhole. Next now I am marking the length. So first of all I marked the waistline, I'm using 18 inches and then the hip line which is um, 25 inches and then the length of the blazer is going to be a long one so I am working with that 2 inches plus extra 2 inches for the hemming allowance so making it 34 in total. So I'm marking the same measurements at the other edge so that I get the perfect straight line. So that's the waist line, then the hip, and then the length of the blazer. If you don't want a long blazer like this one, you can mark your actual length. It could be slightly below your hip line or even before your hip line. So next now I am marking the bust point so the shoulder to the bust point and I'm going to rule out a line just like the other ones. Next now I'm marking my bust band measurement which is 9 inches divided by 2 making it 4.5 plus half inch of allowance making it 5 so I marked 5 inches. From that bust line all the way to the length of the back piece. So here's my bust point, waist line, hip line, and then the length of my jacket. So on this waist line now, I'm going to mark half inch on both sides of that bust band line, and then on the bust point. I will go up by one inch. Extend my line to that one inch, and then I will connect from that point to the half half inch on both sides, and then on the hip line I will come up by two inches. So I'm going to slant back like so. This is the dart. After that, I'm going to be using a, sh a shoulder dart. So, on the shoulder, I'm going to measure this point here and then get the middle. I got 5, so the midpoint of 5 is 2.5. So, I'm connecting that point back to 
the one inch above the bust line. So next now I'm marking my measurements, bust divided by four, and then I marked another two inches for allowance. Then on the waistline, I marked the waist measurement, half length round divided by four, and then another two inches for allowance. The same thing for the hip. But first, I'm going to connect this line so that we can see clearly what I'm doing. So on the hip line again, we are marking the hip measurement divided by four. And then we will mark another two inches for allowance. So I'm connecting the points together like so. Then from here down, we are going to mark the same hip measurement on the length line so hip divided by four i'll mark then two inches again for allowance and it connects back to the hip line so this is basically it for the back piece next we are going to um slant the back just to give it a bit of shape this is optional if you don't want if you don't want to contour the back is very optional so from that waistline i came in by half inch and then i slanted out to the chest line and then down to before the hip line like so just half inch in on the waistline so from the shoulder it's about nine inches and then from the hip line up about two inches so next we're going to cut out the neckline, the armhole, the shoulder slant, and then the sides. So we're, we'll be using this same piece to cut out the front, to trace out on the front piece before we consider drafting, just to make the process faster. So I'm cutting out the neckline, the shoulder slant, and then the armhole. I also cut out the sides, but we will not be cutting out the dart yet. So the dart in the middle, we're going to leave it for now until we trace this piece on the front pattern, on the front paper. Okay, so this is it now so on the fresh paper i am going to mark six inches from the top six inches from the top so this six inches is uh, is the back neckline plus extra so six inches should work for almost any any neckline at all so from the top of the paper i mark six inches down i'm going to rule out a line And then from the center front, I will come in by four inches. So this four inches is going to serve as our lapel and then button um, extension. So I marked four inches all the way down and I'm going to connect with the straight line as you can see. So next now on that line that is where i am going to place the back piece the center back piece is going to sit on that line and then we are going to trace every other thing exactly the same on this new paper this is so that i don't start drafting all over again from scratch So I'm tracing the shoulder slant and then the armhole. And also the sides like so. All the way to the length.
So once we are done tracing, we can now cut out the dart on the back piece. I'm also not noting the lines. That's the waistline, the chest, the bust line, and then the hip line. So I connect my points back on the front piece. So this is the center back and this is the side back. So now we're going to go ahead and cut out the dart in the middle. So if you're enjoying this video so far, kindly click on the like button. I will really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So after cutting out the dart, you can go ahead and cut out the slant. That's the half inch we came in by on the center back. And then we're going to be adding half inch on that inside part when cutting the when cutting on the fabric. So I wrote 0 0.5 there, so I know I'm going to add half inch allowance when cutting. Next now I am connecting the points as you can see, the bust line, the waist line, and then the hip line. I'm just going back to adjust my armhole. All the places I didn't trace properly. So next now my paper is refusing to stand. So on the waistline now, you can come up by 2 inches for the button. That's where the button will be. But I said to start mine on the waistline exactly. So I marked 1.5 inches out from the waistline all the way to the hem. And then I'm going to connect that into a straight line. So this 1.5 is the button allowance. That's where our button is going to sit. Then for the front neckline, we are marking 3 inches again for the width. And then for the depth, we are marking 3 inches also. So the back was 3 inches wide, 1 inch deep. The front is 3 inches wide and 3 inches deep. So I'm connecting into a square first. Then I will make a curve. So I'm making the neckline, I'm going to connect from the bottom point all the way to the neckline and out, like so. Make sure it's touching the neck point all the way out. Next now on the neck depth, I am going to mark 3.5 inches out. And then I'll connect that point to the button um, allowance. So after that, I'm going to come out. Okay, I'm going to measure the back neckline. We will need that measurement. I'm going to measure around the back neck like so. So I've got 3.5 inches here. So I'm going to place that same exact measurement on this line. From the shoulder up, I mark the same 3.5 inches I got from the back um, neckline. So after making that point, I'm going to mark from the neckline now, I came out by one inch. From the midpoint, I came out by one inch. Then putting my tape in a slant, I marked two inches. So from that one inch, I placed my tape in a slant and I marked two inches. Like so. So you can make that gap however you want it to be. Then where we marked that 3.5 inches, I marked half inch out. And I'll connect that back to the shoulder. 
like so then from that point we are going to measure 3.5 inches which is going to be the width of the collar but you're going to measure that in a slant it shouldn't be straight so angle it up like so now straight make it in the corner 3.5 inches then we're going to connect from that point back to the neckline where we had that two inches slant up like so So the upper part is going to be the color. Next now I am marking the shoulder, measuring the shoulder to get the middle. And then on the center front line, not the where the button extension is, I am marking five inches, which is my bust fan measurement, just like we did on the back, all the way down. And then I'm going to connect all the points together all the way down so next now i'm going to come down by one inch on the bust line and then on the waistline i mark half inch on both sides of the waist point and then on the hip line i come up by two inches so i'm going to connect both points together to form my darts like so Next now I'm going to connect the shoulder point to the first point like so. This is the center front, this is the side front, and then this is the collar. So the upper part of the collar is going to be cut on fold. So I made a note there so I don't mix things up. Next now is time to cut. So watch carefully so you see where and where I am cutting. Started as a whisper, message from a new world I never... If you're enjoying this video so far, kindly give it a like. And also share it with your friends. that aside then cut out the dark Rebuild this now on the inside part. We are going to add half inch one cutting on the fabric, 
So I'm going to make the mark so I don't mix things up. So this is basically it for how to draft this blazer. So in our next video, we are going to be sewing it. I have already prepared my fabric in our last video. So 